companies patent inventions all the time, but can they patent your genes? The answer to that question is one the Supreme Court will decide. No one can patent a person or their full genome, but the U.S. Patent Office has granted patents to companies for specific genes isolated from human DNA. The reasoning? That process of isolation creates a new man-made compound that is patentable. A large group of doctors, researchers, and health advocates don't like that and is challenging a long-standing practice of gene patenting in a Supreme Court case. The case centers on two so-called breast cancer genes. Mutations on them can show a woman's risk for developing breast and ovarian cancer. Myriad Genetics holds patents on these genes. But critics say that equals a monopoly on gene testing for these cancers. What that means is that no other researcher or doctor can develop an additional test, therapy, or conduct research on these genes. Breast Cancer Action is a plaintiff and says breast cancer research and development of new prevention and treatment tools are hampered when one company controls access to a gene. That angers Andrea Downing, too. She had a preventive double mastectomy after she tested positive for a gene mutation for breast cancer and now advocates against gene patenting. We're getting so close to finding ways to prevent breast cancer that would expand options for somebody like me. Myriad declined an on-camera interview but says patents are crucial to their mission and business. Many leading biotech and pharmaceutical companies agree. Myriad's president said in a statement, we invest heavily in the research and development that is needed to discover and provide high-quality molecular diagnostic products that save and improve patients' lives. Not allowing these patents would completely change the expectations, the settled expectations of players uh, in the industry and, and uh, in academia. Oral arguments are April 15th. Bianca Davy, Associated Press.